which gives us um, 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 two, uh, 2.5, right? But let's see if it works. And so if the line is not equal to an empty string, let's basically go ahead and create a variable to keep track of, first of all, um, the sum, the sum of all the numbers in the, um, in the file. So I'm going to create a variable, I'm going to call it um, total. Well, actually, we, we can call it sum, but I'm going to call it total. And I'm going to set it equal to zero. Also, we need to keep track of how many lines are in the file. So I'm going to create another variable to keep track of that. But before we start our program, number, the number of lines, we, we, before we start reading from the file to check uh, how many lines are in the file, number of lines is going to be equal to zero. So let's initialize it to zero. OK, so if after reading the line here, right? So basically, let's just, let's just move this read line after declaring the variables, right? It's the same. It's really, it's really the same thing. But you know, this is a bit logical, I guess. Okay. So if we've read the line, and this is that the line is not equal to an empty string, then we found a line. And so let's increase the number of lines. And say number. Oh, I meant to say number of lines here, here. And so we can say number of lines. Okay. If we were to read a line, has increased by one. So number of lines is equal to what's already stored in number of lines plus one. Number of lines was zero, so it's going to be zero plus one, which gives you one, and one is going to be stored in number of lines. All right. Now this same line can be written in a shortcut version, right? Number of number of lines equals number of lines plus one can be written as number of lines plus equals one. You can think of it this way. Number of lines is being increased by one. Or you're increasing number of lines by one. This is, it's, a, it's a shortcut version. Combined assignment operator. It's a combined assignment operator. All right. So if we've increased number of lines by one, um, this is just to keep tra uh, keep track of how many lines are in the file, right? We also want to keep track of the total, right? And so there's there, there will be something in the line, right? So let's add it up to total, right? So total also is going to be equal to what's already stored in total. We are accumulating um, the value, basically the integer, the numbers in the file. We are accumulating it uh, one by one, basically accumulating it in total, um, one after the other. So total, total is going to be equal to what's already stored in total, plus line. The only thing is, anytime you read a line from a file, even if it's a number, even if it's a number, right, you are reading it as a string, and so really, even though this is a number, you're reading two. Two is being read as a string, and so this is a string. And you can't really add a string to a number. Total is zero. Zero plus a string, two, it's going to give you a problem. And so we need to make sure that we convert this string to a number, in this case, an integer. And so I'm going to wrap or call the int function around line, make sure, make, making sure we convert it to an integer before we add it up to total and store it in the variable total. All right. Now, total is equal to total plus the integer version of what's stored in line. Is we can write the shortcut the same way we did this. So total is um, we can write it this way: total plus equals the integer version of line. Okay, we are increasing total by what's stored in line converted to an integer. Okay, total is increase increasing by what's stored in line converted to an integer. All right, so once we're done with one iteration, right, the while loop is going to start again and check again, right? But the thing is, we will still be dealing with the same line. We have to move to the next line. We have, if we read a line here, we have, let's say we read two, it checks to see if two is not equal to an empty string. Okay, it's not equal to, basically, it's not equal to an empty string. And so we increase number of lines by one, we add two to total. Right, but still line contains two, and so this becomes an infinite loop because line will always be two. And so after reading one line here, we have to. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I I got I got a text message from my brother. Sorry about that. Okay, so I so we were we were we were talking about um, the fact that line this variable line will contain 
basically, you know, two. After reading two, it will contain that. And so if we don't read, if we don't call read line again, the read position wouldn't move to the next. Basically, basically, basically the read position. Um, and so, okay, so um, so so remember, remember I was trying to explain that. Um, remember I was trying to explain that anytime you call read line, it reads the line and it moves the read position from the end of the line to the big um, to the beginning of the next line and wait for you to call read line again. And so basically, when we call read line out in, in the read two. The read position advanced or moved to the next line, waiting for us to call read line again. The thing is, line will still contain two after reading two, but the thing is we have to call read line again to be able to read the next line. Otherwise, uh, line will still contain two, and this will be an infinite loop. So after, after increasing number of lines by one and adding what we just read to total, we, want, we have to go ahead and, and read the next line again. And the way we do that is by calling read line again. And so we call relearn again, but remember we are dealing with the file object. We are reading the line in this file, okay? The, the variable that's referenced in the file object. So basically, we are, we are right, calling the statement again, right? But the thing is, we are reading a line. This time around, because the read position has moved to the beginning of three, it reads this line, and then it moves the position, the read position to the next line, waits for you to call relearn again. But when it reads three, it's going to return three. We need a place to store it, right? I'm going to store it back in line since our while loop is basically checking what's in line. So we, we, we read the next line, store it back in line, then the while loop checks what's in line again. Now this statement runs just once. After that, the while loop kick, kicks in and it keeps on. So basically this will basically go through all the, all the lines in the file, right? Now the thing is, after re after reading three, the read position will be moved to the next line over here, the beginning of the ne uh, the beginning of the next line, right after uh, three. If we call read line again, it's going to return an empty string. And when we and the while loop, when the while loop checks over here, while line is not equal to empty string, it will be false because line would would be an empty string, and then the while loop will stop. That means we've reached the end of the end of the file, so stop. Okay, so after we are done with the while loop, we will have basically the total, and we have the number of lines. And so all we have to do is just calculate the average. And so we can create a variable and say average is going to be equal to the total, right? The total, which which you know it has, which we have calculated here already, you know, with our while loop, divided by the number of lines. And then all we have to do after that is just print it. So I'm going to call the print function. With this, with the message, and say that the average is, and then I'm going to pass in as an argument average. When you pass an argument into the print function this way, they are displayed with a space separating them. So this will be displayed as the average is space average.